In this video, we are going to show how to solve problem 7 of WebWork 3, parametric vector form. So we want to solve the equation given by 7x minus 8y plus 7z equals 0, which is a linear system, but of course this is just a single equation. And we want to put 6 numbers to represent the PBF. All right, so we recall that how to solve linear equation. This is homogeneous equation because the other side of equality is zero. And we want to find out, write out the augmented matrix, augmented matrix, which is <clears throat> seven, negative eight, seven, and we separate bar and zero on the other side. There's only one layer or one line and uh, <clears throat> we want to reduce it to REF or RREF. But for this one equation, the only thing we want to have is, the only staircase we can have is this. So the first non-zero element will be pivot, and there's only one pivot because there's only one row. And on the pivot column, this is the only non-zero, and otherwise there's no element at all because this is just one line. So this is R R E F. Uh, it's not R R E F, but R E F. If you want to make it R R E F, you want to divide by seven to everything, you can get R R E F. But it's fine. We don't have to reduce it R R E F. This is already R E F, so this is good enough for us. Now, another thing we can analyze is for pivot column, we call this as x1, which is because this corresponds to pivot column, this is basic variable. And for x2, there's no pivot in this x2 column, so this is called free variable. And x3, similarly free variable, because there's no pivot. All right. Then next, we want to move x2, x3 to the other side of equality. In other words, I want to solve for x1, basic variable, from the original equation. So 7x equals, if you move the other two terms to the other side, it will be 8y minus 7z. And by... Uh, I'm sorry, they use xyz instead of x sub 1, sub 2, sub 3, so I'm going to change the variables here. So this is x column, y column, z column. All right, to solve for x, I need to divide by 7 to each term. So we get x equals 8 over 7y minus z. For PVF, we have to write down y and z, three variables, by itself. Just copy itself, z equals z. And another thing we want to do is, for convenience, of course, this you are not, uh, it's, you don't have to do this, but usually you want align variables. So Y variable and Z variables on the other side for two free variables. So this, this will be Y column, this will be Z column. So if we write this again, so X, Y, Z gives a vector on the right left hand side of equality. The other side is y column whose coefficient is 8 over 7, 1 and 0 times y. So we get 8 over 7, 0. No, sorry, it's not 0. 1 and 0 in a sequence. And plus z column, then we get negative 1 
negative one from here, zero here, one here. So negative one, zero, one. In other words, we so now for free variables, this is free. You can change the the variable, the name of the variable into anything you want. So from here, they prefer to use S and T for Y and Z. Then we can just keep that. And here it go, goes 8 over 7, and this goes 1, and this goes to 0, and this is negative 1, 0, 1. All right, hopefully this can help you solve your own problem 7.